Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick review of The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. I've actually read this probably three or four times before now, and uh, I'm rereading it via audiobook. Are you comfortable there, Cat? My cat's just sat, like, with his arse on my back. <laughs> it's, like, propping me up. Uh, I actually reread this via audiobook, and, um, yeah, I listened to the first half of it in just, like, one sitting as well. Um, this was my reread for the February prompt for Rereadathon 2020. Uh, let's get into it. So, my first note is that there's already a lot of hyperbole. Uh, Holden Caulfield as a character loves it. So, for example, he said, like, it's in about a thousand magazines. And he's constantly being like, I've told you a million times. And it's like, no, you, you told him twice, Holden. Um, Holden isn't a very likable character. He is annoying by design, you know. Um, and he's actually even more annoying when you've got an annoying narrator for the audiobook as well. But, I mean, I do enjoy this book. Um, so there was a great line, uh, the more expensive a school is, the more crooks it has, which I think is very apt. Another quote I wrote down here, um, what really knocks me out is a book that when you're all done reading it, you wish the author that wrote it was a terrific friend of yours and you could call him up on the phone whenever you felt like it. That doesn't happen much, though. He also said, I can be quite sarcastic when I'm in the mood. And I've put a note here saying, no shit, Holden. He keeps calling his friend a sexy bastard as well. What he means by that is that he's a horny old goat. He is uh, on the market for some promiscuity. And another thing that I noticed is that Holden keeps saying, like a madman. He smoked a cigarette like a madman. And I'm not sure whether it's from this book that I remember it, but I've definitely read a book somewhere where somebody kept saying like a madman and where it really irritated me. So a few more little bits from uh, Catcher in the Rye. So a quote here, he said, My trouble is I keep thinking whoever I'm necking is a pretty goddamn intelligent person. Which is very true. I have a habit of doing that as well. Whenever I meet a girl, I'm always like, oh yeah, she's the best. And then like, you realise, oh, maybe she's not the best. Uh, <laughs> another great quote, Catholics are always trying to find out if you're a Catholic. And uh, Holden, he said his father was a Catholic, although he had to like give that up when uh, he met his mum. Holden as well, he told someone he loved her and the narrative goes, it was a lie of course, but he meant it when he said it, which I think we've all done before. Uh, Holden also says, I hope to hell when I do die, someone has a sense to dump me in the river or something, because he doesn't want an expensive funeral. And we get the famous quote as well, who needs flowers when you're dead? Nobody, that's who. So yeah, all in all, I did enjoy this reread. I probably gave it like a pretty solid 4 out of 5. I wouldn't say that The Catcher in the Rye is one of my favourite books, but it's certainly one I've read multiple times, probably four times now. And um, yeah, I mean, I know it's one of those books that people tend to either love or hate. I've always been in between like and love for it, I guess. And uh, yeah, I probably will reread it again sometime. So there we have it. That's what I made of The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more. And Biggie and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Won't we, Biggie? Won't we? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.